Hey mathematics learners, welcome to Distance Learning with Lee, where I make learning mathematics super easy. So on today's video tutorial guys, we are going to be tackling question 2.2 from the grade 12 mathematical literacy paper 2 that was written in June 2023. And in this question guys, we are going to be dealing with map scales, right? And map scales is under the umbrella of maps, plans and other representations of um the physical world right in this question we are given a number scale right and we now need to basically use this number scale to determine what would be the distance right on a wall map if the actual distance is 65 um kilometers so this is a nice question guys um most especially if you know that these types of questions they confuse you please watch this entire video tutorial because i'm going to be explaining every um detail everything to you guys in detail all right so before we get started please make sure that you are subscribed to the channel please make sure that you click on that notification bell so that you get notified every single time i upload a new video tutorial guys and also please don't forget to give all these video tutorials a huge thumbs up because that really helps the channel grow and it helps the channel to reach more learners that want to better their mathematics marks so without any further ado guys let's get started with today's video tutorial in this video tutorial guys we're going to be looking at map scales right we're given a number scale and we're going to work with this number scale to convert an actual or a real distance or a real length right um into the length on a piece of paper or a length on a map okay so it says that the scale used on a map in a classroom is one is to 250,000. It says, question 2.2.1, use the given scale to determine the distance on the wall map if the real distance is 65 um, kilometers, right? So the first thing that you guys need to remember is that when we are working with our number scale, what does this number scale represent? Okay, since we are basically given that, right, we are given one is to 250,000. What does that one represent? The one represents the units, right, on paper. This is the units on paper, okay? So we can also just say the measured distance, right, on paper, or the measured length on paper. And then what does that 250,000 represent? This is the length in real life okay what do i mean by this let's say you've got a piece of paper um or a map right and with that map right you basically want to determine what would be the total length that you would travel from johannesburg to durban right and then you measure the length from there to there on your map right i'm just giving you guys an example and you determine that okay the length on paper, right, if I had to travel from um, Joburg to Durban, right, the measured length on paper, so if you want to move from A to B, the measured length would be, let's say, 20 millimeters. So that is the measured length, right? Now we would have to now convert this measured length, right, on paper of 20 millimeters into an actual length in real life, right? And in this case, right, this scale would help us, right, would help us get to what the actual distance or the actual length would be in real life what would we do in this case to get what the distance would be in real life right this scale is just telling us that one unit on paper is equal to 250 um, thousand units in real life okay and now we want to convert these 20 millimeters that I've measured on paper, all right, into what the actual distance is in real life, right? What is the distance in actuality from Joburg to Durban, okay? So then I would basically use this number scale to help me convert. So you would take 
your 20 millimeters, right? And you would multiply by what you want, okay? So we already know that one unit on paper is equal to 250,000 units in real life, right? This is on paper, right? And then this is in real life, okay? So we multiply by what we want. We want to determine what is the length in real life. So it's going to be 2,000, I mean 250,000, okay? Right? Note that we're not putting any units there, okay? Divided by what you have. We've got the units on paper. This 20 millimeters, it's the units on paper. So you're going to divide by what, okay? So if you take 20 and you... 20 millimeters right and you multiply by 250,000 you will see that actually you get 5 million millimeters right so that basically means that okay the distance right that you'd have to travel from Joburg to Durban right in real life right is 5 million millimeters so that looks it seems like it's a big number right and the reason why it seems like it's a big number is because it's in millimeters okay however guys when we're dealing with like real life scenarios where we're dealing with distance right um where you're traveling from a particular point to another point from durban to johannesburg from johannesburg to durban right the unit of measurement that you would use is normally kilometers right so in this case we'd have to then further on convert these millimeters right into kilometers right by using this diagram you've got kilometers we've got meters we've got centimeters you've got millimeters so you want to convert from the millimeters into kilometers okay right so what would we do remember we multiplied by a thousand to go to from kilometers to meters you multiply by 100 to go from meters to centimeters you multiplied by 10 to go to centimeters to millimeters and we basically did the reverse operation if we wanted to go backwards okay so in this case we want to go backwards we want to move from millimeters to kilometers so what do we do you would divide by 10 you would divide by 100 and you would divide by a thousand so in actuality you are actually dividing by 1 million okay okay because you've got one two three four five six zeros okay so in other words to convert from this five million millimeters two kilometers you would then just divide this five million millimeters um by 1 million okay and that will give you your answer in kilometers okay but our answer is very small you can't i mean it's definitely not um five kilometers to go from um Joburg to durban but i think you guys understand the whole point that i'm basically um trying to make here okay so that is how you're supposed to go about uh converting from your measured distance into an actual or the real life um distance okay you look at your um number scale right that tells you how you need to convert from the measured into the real life okay and then you need to also remember your number scale has no units okay but what's gonna lead you is the units that you're gonna use when you are measuring on paper Okay, so with these type of questions, you, I mean, teachers will get different answers. Some will get um, answers where learners decided that they're going to work with centimeters. Some will get answers where learners decided that they're going to work with millimeters, okay? It all depends on um, what the learner does. But you guys need to also remember, when you're measuring on paper, your ruler just literally has centimeters and millimeters. So that is already a guide on when you're now dealing with these type of questions, right? You either need to use centimeters or millimeters when you're dealing with um, converting from your measured distance into your actual distance, okay? So now let's have a look at the actual question. I think I'm done with just the explanation of the concept. Question 2.2.1, it says use the given scale to determine the distance on the wall map if the real distance um, is equal to 65 kilometers, right? So we're given that, okay, um, there's a scale that is used on the wall map, right? And the scale that is used is one 
is to 250,000, right? We already know that it means that one unit on paper is equal to 250,000 units in real life, okay? So now, we want to basically convert the 65 kilometers, right, into what the distance would be on paper okay so now you need to think if i were to be measuring this distance on paper what unit of measurement would you basically use right do you want to use millimeters do you want to use centimeters because obviously you're measuring this map right so that let's basically say that i'm going to use millimeters okay so that basically means that the first thing that i need to do is that i need to first convert these 65 kilometers into the unit of measurement that i use on the piece of paper okay right so in this case i'm saying that on my piece of paper i am using millimeters so i want to convert the 65 kilometers right into millimeters okay so what do i need to do all right so what do i need to do all that i need to do now right i need to think where am i on this diagram i am currently at kilometers right and i want to basically move to millimeters okay so I want to move to millimeters. How do I get to millimeters? Okay. If I want to get to my millimeters, I'm going to do times by a thousand, then times by a hundred, then times by 10. Okay. So that is the same as saying, let me just show you guys. I want to multiply it by a thousand. Then I want to multiply it by 10. Then I want to multiply it by, I mean, then I want to multiply it by 100. Then I want to multiply it by 10, right? So that's the same as multiplying by, we've got three zeros here, plus two zeros, plus one. So it's the same as just taking your 65 kilometers and multiplying it by one million. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six zeros, okay? And that is going to help us then now convert um, this 65 kilometers into millimeters, okay? So if you do that, you'll actually get 65 million uh, millimeters, okay? So then that basically says that, okay, the distance, the actual distance, right, from a particular point to another point, right, is 65 millimeters. I mean, 65 million millimeters in real life okay so now i want to convert that 65 million millimeters right in real life into what it is on paper i'm going to use the number scale that one unit on paper is equal to 250,000 units in real life right i want to determine what is the unit on paper Okay, so I'm going to basically take that 65 million millimeters and then I'm going to multiply by what I want. What do I want? I want to determine what are the units on paper. So I'm going to multiply by one and then I'm going to divide it by what are the units in real life, right? So I'm going to divide it by what I already have. Because remember, this 65,000, 65 million that I have here represents the units in real life in millimeters that's why it's such a big value it's in millimeters okay so if you then divide by what you have the 250,000 right what will you get you'll get that actually then right right the units on paper right is actually equal to 260 260 watts do you realize that these units didn't cancel it's just 260 millimeters, okay? So that means that when you basically measured the distance from maybe point A to point B on this particular map, right? You measured 260 millimeters on the map, okay? But in real life, right, the distance is actually 65 million 
millimeters but then guys when you're working in real life you don't work with, with millimeters okay when you go from joburg to soweto go from joburg to fosleris right you would say that okay it takes me approximately 44 kilometers to go from joburg to fosleris okay we deal with kilometers when you're looking at real life distances real life scenarios when you're traveling from one point to another okay so then if you want to basically now convert these 260 millimeters on paper to the what to the actual units in real life right it is actually 65 kilometers in real life okay another way that you can also just approach this question you'd be like okay i choose to measure my from point a to point b on my paper in centimeters okay so if you decide to measure in centimeters right that basically means that you would first need to convert that 65 kilometers into centimeters okay so let's basically do that you'd basically then take that 65 kilometers and you want to convert it into centimeters because you are measuring your distance or your length in centimeters okay how would we move from kilometers to centimeters right we are here at kilometers we want to move to centimeters right so you'd multiply by a thousand right but when you multiply by a thousand it only leaves you at meters so we need to continue and multiply by 100 so you need to multiply it by a thousand and you need to multiply it by a hundred what are we actually multiplying by right that is the same as just taking 65 kilometers and you're multiplying it by how many zeros you've got one one two three four five zeros so it's the same as saying multiplying by a hundred thousand okay that is a hundred thousand and then if you take 65 and you're multiplying by one hundred thousand you will see that you actually get six million five hundred thousand so it's going to be six million five hundred thousand okay milli meters okay so that is what the actual distance is from point a to point b in real life in not millimeters sorry in centimeters okay now we want to convert this distance right this distance in real life right into what the distance is on paper okay so what would we do we would take um the number scale that is given to us of one unit on paper is equal to 250,000 units in real life, right? So you take that 6.5 million, so 600, I mean, 6 million 500,000, right? This is in centimeters, right? You would multiply it by what do you want? You want to determine what is the unit on paper? So you multiply it by one divided by what do you have? what is the unit in real life okay so you're going to divide it by the 250,000. okay if you punch that into your calculator what do you get you get 26 centimeters right so basically now what this tells us that okay the measured distance on paper right is equal to 26 centimeters right so 26 centimeters on the paper is actually equal to 65 kilometers in real life 260 millimeters on paper okay is equal to 65 um, kilometers in real life so that is how you guys are supposed to go about um tackling question 2.2.1 okay so i gave you guys two ways in which you can approach that one okay let's have a look at the last question it says name one other type of scale that is used in maps okay guys remember when we basically doing our map scales right we use our number scale this is an example of a number scale right this is a number scale what other scales do you guys remember right we also have your bar scale remember when you have your bar there right and then um one is side is shaded right and you have got zero and then it's 10 maybe in 20 we've got your bar scale okay you also have your line scale which looks something like that right 
okay okay so any other um scales right um that you mention will basically give you two marks so you can say a bar scale or you can say a line scale okay any one of those will um give you two marks all right and that is it right for today's video tutorial the last answer that i'm basically going to be writing down for question 2.2.2 is a bar scale all right so i hope that i made these concepts um nice and easy for you guys to understand please also watch my other video tutorials where i've basically done your map scales where i show you guys how to convert from a measured distance into an actual distance or from an actual distance to a measured distance that is really going to help you don't just focus on one video tutorial look at multiple questions that um deal with the same concept so that you can also be sure that you really understand um the concept by the by the time you decide that you are done with it okay so that is it guys and i'll see you guys on my next upload on the next upload guys we are going to be tackling question 2.3 and question 2.3 guys deals with models right where we basically need to look at how maybe for example this rims uh the rim of paper has to be packed right um or how many rims of paper we need to pack into this cupboard um um for all of them to fit okay so it's basically models and it's um in particular packaging okay so please make sure that you watch this video tutorial because i'm going to be taking you guys through um just the steps and how and the approach um to this question that is it guys and i'll see you guys on my next upload at distance learning with lee where i make learning mathematics super easy Bye, guys.